URL TV Media News, Ichi Gotti in a building, Ultimate Man is 3, man. I never thought that I would see you in a tournament, man, especially not Ultimate Man is 3, but we're here. We're here now. Oh, man. I, it was, was the bag the problem? Like, did you feel like it needed to be 100K for you to be involved? Yeah, hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, somebody like myself, you know what I'm saying, I could get that with like three, four battles, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, if it's a tournament where I can get it a little faster because let's take it realistically, three, four battles for me, even though I might do them weekly, the big bag battles, the norms, the summer madnesses when we get into 25s and all that type of shit like that come like two, three, four times a year, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Instead of within a whole six week period, you know right. what I'm saying? Like a little super fights and all that, you grabbing 15s and 18 and all that little shit. So it's like, nigga, let's get some definitive money. Like in six weeks, I can turn it to 100,000 up, uh, that's like fuck it. And also, once they told me who was in it, because I, I mean, I didn't know who all was in it, but once I started talking and the partners were saying they was in it, I'm like, you know what? There's some dope names in here, so this would be like something dope to be a part of. You know what I'm saying? Drake back in it. Like, just the whole experience of just being attached to that shit was really like a motivation to it, really on the real. Facts, facts. Now, we done already seen what you done did with the money you've gotten yeah. and the businesses you've created and Man. things you've created. What would your plan be if you was to get this 100K? Man, probably I mean, we all know you a yeah. smart businessman. Yeah. We waiting on it. Yeah, probably some more. Like, I'm telling you, I'm working on, like, getting the food truck going. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Every fucking wing. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. You know what I mean? So, like, yeah. I'm really serious about that, man. We trying to get that going, man. I want to, like, dabble into the, the food truck truck and catering business. You know what I'm saying? Like, wings my favorite food, and I know how to cook them good as fuck. You know what I mean? My fiance, too. That's on my partner. So, I'm thinking we can really come together and really do that. You know what I mean? some other endeavors, too, that I kind of want to dabble in, you know? But I don't want to speak too soon until I can get it. You you know what I mean? But definitely that's one of my main focuses is trying to like get into the food and you know what I mean? Cause I do the clothes and man, we got the we got the businesses like you say, man, pharmacies and shit like that, you know, so not pharmacies, but you know, med med medical, you feel me? So right. yeah, shit like that we got going on. So yeah, man, I'm definitely trying to like keep advancing and keep going to the next level with this shit, man. So I, I think 100K can be a, a big difference as far as like 100K that fast, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, it definitely is yeah. a life changer. Mm -hmm. right um, there, you spoke on, you know, battling like every week. Yeah. We know you're a frequent battler. Um, this first week, though, you have you're going to battle this Saturday, and then you're going right to ATL to battle. Do you think that that's making people look at you as if you're yeah. you're less capable now of being able to handle that? I think I don't know. Probably not for me because I do it so much that they probably like God. He can do it. You know what I'm saying? Like. For other we battlers, did see that, yeah. you uh, had it happen. You did the BET Awards and then battled and then, and then Tay Rock. It was Tay Rock. You know what I'm saying? Like I did good in both of them. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. And I had Don Marino like a week after Tay Rock. We did three yeah. rounds. You know what I'm saying? So I think they definitely kind of like see that I can do it. But I think as far as disadvantage, no, it might more be disadvantage just for me as far as. My, I don't have the same, like, Riggs, Mike, he ain't got nobody to focus on but me, so he probably can give his full attention to me. I got to focus on him, then I got to focus on Wise, on Gates in the Garden, then week after that I got to focus on clean paper, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I got a lot of back-to-back -back shit that I got to kind of take care of, you feel me? But I definitely feel like it's doable, and I'm going to try to, it's like a personal test for me to just see if I can do it too a lot of time. Sometimes that shit just be a personal test, like, man, let me see if I can run through all this shit. If it happen, it happen. If it don't, I don't really, you know what I mean? I ain't going to say I don't give a fuck, but like, <laughs> Don't yeah. it's like fuck it, cuz nigga yeah. trying to hood. Now how do you keep yeah. yourself fresh and original for all these battles back to back every week, you know, yeah. maybe once every two weeks, every so often? How I do you keep yourself I fresh, try, keep I your material to, yeah. like top notch? I try not to like watch battles, you know what I'm okay. saying? I try not to be somebody that be watching, like I keep up with what's going on in the culture through like Twitter and shit like that. Now right. that is how I come with my bars that that's current for what's going on. But I try to just keep my shit that's fresh and original to me. Like I just think give me the part the opponent name and then I'm gonna just do what I do with it, you know what I mean? Come right. with my material. I think sometimes we get lost in watching niggas battles, watching so much material that you start being cookie cutter and you lose your original shit. You start sounding like everybody else, you know? So I think that's kind of one thing that, that always been dope about me is I just kind of draw shit from my own experiences and making my own, you feel me? So yeah, I'm gonna do that shit again tomorrow. Just you don't get the same guy that you've been getting, you feel me? Probably with less time is all, you feel me? It ain't so usually people, two minutes, you The feel people me? are saying, like, you know, you had the stumbles in your last battle with yeah, Mav. That, I, that cost me tomorrow, yeah, that could cost me. Tomorrow could cost me because we ain't got enough time to freestyle up out of that and then get back to it with like three more minutes of boys. Like, so, but I, the difference is with this one, I think by it being two minutes and a little less time, it was a little bit easier for me to kind of zone in 
I don't have time to do as many rebuttals like math. I got caught up doing the rebuttals, having doing that. Yeah. I lost my train. I don't think with two minutes we got, you might can throw one in, but you can't waste too much time on them because you ain't going to be able to get to your ending bar. They talking right. about cutting you off kind of at 2.30, so right. definitely. I think I'll be all right, though, man. I should be. You feel me? So now there's see. women in this tournament, right? Yeah. Are you threatened at all? by? And I mean, we got Casey J. Yeah. Casey J, top two for women of the year. She was actually looked at as number Number one, a lot of people. Um, you got official who I mean she's running through all you guys at this point in time. She's just building her resume at this point. And then you got Yoshi G. You got Yoshi G who was the talk of the town pretty much. So it's like is, is that does that bother you at all? Like having these top tier women having Yoshi in the in, in the mix of this who's very controversial at almost all times? Good question. I mean it don't bother me, but I think it's dope that they in there because like you know they dope and they it would be dope to see one of them win. You know what I'm saying? Like that that's that's culture changing because a lot of people feel like they can't do what the guys do. You right. Know? So you giving three of them an opportunity, it should have been one more. So it should have been one even, more. It, they should have had a female judge too. Like you know, like I'm fighting for women's rights. Shout out to they, Lola they, Dope. Women. It was a few people said like, Lola Dope should have been a been judge. One. Yeah, shout out Lola. I fucks with her too. She, she, you know what I mean? She's solid and she seemed like she really choose, like, you know what I mean? She, she watched the culture and understand bars and all that too, so she would have been dope. There's a lot of other women, like me yourself, you know what I mean? Other ones who definitely could tune into this shit, you know? You know I mean? So, I mean, that's something they probably will work on next time, hopefully, you know what I mean? Because I think that make it even more fair, you know what I mean? Because they might say, say a woman up there saying some feminine type bars that a man probably can't even, a bar that we don't even know, that's like, right. you could be like, man, she was talking about, you know what I'm saying? She get to talking about her hair and wham right. and, and correlated to a bar, you know? So, maybe next time they'll do that, but you know that's that's them working closer with Geech. I would have I would have had that happen. They ain't trying to work closer with me. They trying, you know what I mean? I'm trying to give them the eye. They feel me, so you know it's all good, man. But salute to those ladies. I think official got what it takes to win Casey mm -hmm. and Yoshi. You feel me? Oh, Back, real, shout out to all three of them. I feel like it should have been one more. One more to make it even. Give them yeah, four. Come make on, it even, man. But I don't know how that worked out with everybody. Shout out to everybody in their schedules and just their yeah. regular lives yeah. and shit. Probably just couldn't do it. Yeah, probably man. couldn't just do it. But salute to everybody. I, hopefully there's a female tournament in the future. Yeah, all but we, females. We gonna get. I mean, you, you got the riot over there. What you doing? Yeah, I might have to but do we, it myself. <laughs> uh, shout out Steams though. I know they got the she go hard. Shout out the she, she go going hard. Too, yes. Feel me? So I think it's gonna start being more women being involved. I think what next weekend KC and, and bullpen as well. And they have yeah, an all female must, card. Exactly. Going on. So like right now, I think now people starting to realize that. I mean, the events is a lot better when you got the females there because you know the energy is just a vibe. You know what I mean? Yeah. The chicks know how they like. Enjoy they still have a good time and they bring in the boards like and they and they work for this shit they not just out here you know what i mean bullshit you feel me so they come in just as dope as a lot of these dudes so we need to see That's more okay. of them on more of these cars like i'm pretty sure it's gonna be another kings versus queens but Can't another you feel me all that so yeah i'm tuned in man like you know what i mean i definitely like respect seeing these women do their thing on the stage for sure for sure how you feel about your side of the bracket and if you move forward who you could be battling next i got a tough side because i got swamp then jerry if i win against riggs i'm gonna say when i riggs but i'm big on like manifesto so yeah so when i win against riggs i got swamp or jerry then when i get past them then it's gonna be either twerk or casey or Pre it's tough our side low key like might be like the toughest side i ain't gonna front we got some heavy hitters on my side, man, because I ain't needy on that side. You feel me? That's broken the tea top, but I feel like they got like a couple little, man, they got some little sleepers over there. You feel me? Yeah. We got, we got, you feel me? We got some heavy hitters all through this side, but it's going to be dope. Uh, a lot of people, I ain't going to lie, as far as the brackets go, just watching, I've seen a lot of people that had me twerk running into each other again, probably T top rematching with Nitty again. And That's shit the like other that. thing, all the, the rematches that are possible with these brackets. Mm -hmm. So it's like you got to be prepared to might have to battle somebody you done already battled and try to come up with fresh material. I think that's going to be the more difficult when some of those rematches might happen. You know what I'm that saying? That's going to be yeah. my next question. Yeah, that's I mean, going to be difficult. If you, you, are, know, if you, you already won a battle versus somebody, <laughs> how you are motivation you now motivated at? <laughs> to continue? you like you've already won the battle so it's like what do i do now but it's also 100k on the line yeah. so you gotta be like super motivated but it makes lie. it it just makes it more difficult nigga rematch with me man i'm gonna say the same shit i say <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So don't let me run into this motherfucker. I'll be like, y'all love that shit last time. You know what I'm saying? Then keep that same energy, you feel me? But nah, I definitely think that's going to make it harder, though. Like, hell yeah, because the motivation got to be there. And not only that, you know what I'm saying? 
sometimes in those battles, you know what I'm saying? Like, say if somebody felt like somebody won clearly, you know what I mean? In the last one and on the rematch, people just probably looking for redemption on those other ones. So you might be at a disadvantage if they felt you won that last one. You know what I'm saying? Because now they looking for it to be just like battle rap, 1-1. One, one, you know what I'm saying? So they can do it one more time. You feel me? So it's going to be tough, man. But hopefully, you know, we don't have to worry about them problems, man. I don't want to rematch none of them cats I battled. I don't even want to see Nitty again. You feel me? For the real. Yeah, Shout out to Nitty. He is definitely a warrior. I don't think nobody wants to see him again. Oh, yeah, that's, a, yeah. that's a tough cookie to break right yeah. there. I don't want no smoke, man. I don't want him to talk, keep them away from me, man. You know what I mean? But salute, because I mean, I mean, like I say, on that side of the bracket, they probably the favorites, you know what I mean? So yeah. definitely looking forward to see what they do tomorrow. You know what I'm so looking at it all, just all around the board, what's the one battle you think you really going to sit down and watch? <laughs> yeah, myself personally, them? yeah, I ain't going to lie. I said uh, I definitely want to see Swamp and Jerry. Okay. You know what I mean? Just because like I fuck with both of them dudes, and I want to see you know what I mean? how they came, you know what I mean, to, for each other, how they came prepared for each other. But besides that one, I ain't gonna lie, I kind of want to see uh, Twerk and Casey, you know what I mean, I, for, for the women and the men battle. Like, I think that one right there is one of the ones, like you say, she was number two in it, and we all know how great Twerk is, you know right. what I'm saying? So I think that's like got potential to be a hell of a battle if they both on their A-game. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Definitely. So the controversy, the ghetto, the, yeah. the gossip is the last thing I'm gonna end with here. Yes, yes, yes. right. Ghostwriting has been brought up throughout the, the last few weeks of this tournament going on. And how do you feel about ghostwriting in general yeah, when man. it comes to battle rap? I think, you know, like it's not accepted. Of course, it's not accepted because you're supposed to be able to do this on your own. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be able to bring your own material to the ring. That's what it's about. You know what I mean? It's my pen versus your pen, my boards versus your board. But I won't be naive and say, like, man, with hundreds of thousand dollars on the line, that it's probably somebody right there, like, man, you better say this more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, like, like I say, it's probably not accepted, but you can't be blind to the fact that, man, like, it's, it's a lot of money on the line, and people gonna try to do what they can to do the win. You just hope that motherfucker go up there and keep it honorable. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You feel me? Like, it's just like any other sport, man. Motherfucking fighters ain't supposed to be injecting themselves with performance enhancement drugs, but, but they they'll do it. They figure out a way to do they it. They figure out so a way to do it. Detectable. To be, <laughs> on the real, so. You just gotta bring your A game to like you better be able to beat two or three, four pins in that motherfucker if you got to. You know what I'm saying? Do you so. feel like ghostwriting happens more often than we know? I'm pretty sure it does. You know what I'm saying? It's like it just see the thing about it is this. It's a it's it's some shit that ain't gonna be spoken about because nobody wants to get called out on it. You know what I'm saying? Now and, and I think it's it's one of them things that if a motherfucker been giving somebody bars and people been paying them for it, of course they not gonna out them, you know what I'm saying? Because they like shit, they doing it. We done seen stories where dudes done came out like, man, I wrote this for you. Or, right. I wrote that, so we done heard it before, you know what I'm saying? It's just, I think with this one, where it made it tough for her that I feel, kind of feel bad to just put her at a disadvantage going in because the angle looking at it like, oh, you've been getting helped and you, you know what I mean? Right. So it's probably gonna be tougher for it, but I think that that's, that's gonna make it dope for it. If she can overcome them allegations and go out there and do her thing, yeah. you know what I mean? She can handle it. I commend her for commend making a statement that she wanted to do things on, on her own, her own. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. was rejecting any, any kind of help, help or yeah. ideas even because that was another thing that was a topic just people giving ideas which yeah. can happen in regular yeah, that, conversation that's, that's regular shit, yeah. but yeah. It's, it's one of those things that people look at like you know that shouldn't happen either but if she wants to do everything on her own Gotta I commend her 100% yeah. And if she goes out there and she's good, then there's nothing nobody can say, say to her. Gotta give her a look. Gotta give her respect. You know what I'm saying? I think it's dope. She she, she chose now to say, fuck it. I'm going to do what I got to do. Money, I'm going to win or lose on my own. So, got to respect her for that. For sure, for sure. You know Definitely. Go, out, go ahead and shout out all the different businesses. No studio yeah, in the riot. Yeah, man. No studio. You already know what it is, man. No studio on podcast. You can watch it every Tuesday and Thursday live on Official Geechee Gotti YouTube channel on YouTube. Uh, www.officialgeechigotti.com. We get the hoodies we got all different colorways and all type of shit man hats and everything on there right now you know what i'm saying uh tax-free forms man if you in la man pull up man to the medicated you know what i mean marijuana supply you feel me go up in there and check it out all the different strands and flavors it's legal you know what i mean it's dope man you know what i mean so pull up to there if you ever in the town if you ever in la you know what i mean you can google it other than that man every fucking gram you feel me got some of that in the whip too you feel me emg on me riding around with it you feel me it's legal it's 
is good. We in Cali, you feel me? Other than that, we just working, man. Salute to everybody, man, doing their thing out here, man. All the black entrepreneurs out here, man. I also want to say this too, though, uh, before I get up out of here, man. Definitely, man, proud that they finally got it right and found old boy guilty for that George Floyd shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we definitely. Got it right out here, salute finally. You know what I mean? So salute to that, man. That was a beautiful day. 420. Yeah, we and needed then we that. Did that. It was a beautiful we day. We needed that for the people. You know what I mean? So salute to them finally getting it right. You know, we got more of them to come, though. You know, definitely. I mean, that's a step in the right direction, right there. So definitely. definitely. Thank you so much for your time, Slim Rita here. URL TV Media News. Peace.